Come on, what about now? No? Come on, come on, I'm getting itchy, let's go! Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, the druids here won't be a problem anymore. The shadow druid that had been leading them is now dead, killed by CERN's hands. We can now head back to Trade Meet and report on our success, and hopefully get a big reward for our efforts. It's more likely that we'll be told to go and do a different quest, however, because there were grumblings that the Jin were proven to be a problem. And here is CERN, waiting for us to ask him to join the party, but that's never going to happen. So we're going to leave and head back the way we came. This building here is called the Ogre Tower. We could try and find the way into it, but there's really not much reason to go there, because I believe the only thing that's in there of significance is a cow. And the cow is not going to be a threat to our party. And so, onwards we go. What we need to be mindful of right now is our reputation. It is starting to get rather high in number. We are popular, yeah. and that may be a good thing mm. for buying and selling, but it's not good for keeping our what party happy. You? They're already starting to grumble. As that number gets higher, it's going to get worse. There are a few opportunities that we'll have uh, pretty soon to lower our reputation if we want to, and later on we'll pretty much have a guaranteed way to lower our reputation whenever we like. There should be no problem right now, provided our reputation doesn't get too high. There is a break point where party members will leave, and considering that my entire party is of evil alignment, Terry would suddenly be alone, and that is no good. We need a few uh, spells cast here just to keep Edwina safe. We're likely not to get into any combat right now, but it could happen. It's best to be prepared as we leave the Druid Grove. We're not likely to come back here ever again. One of the quests that we will be given would bring us back to here, but I think we've already dealt with that. I may be surprised, though, when we may be told to come back here anyway with no alternative but to do so. I believe we have to go over here to get back to Trade Meet. It's not far away, just a couple of hours, and we won't be spending too long in Trade Meet, though by the time we get there, it should be daytime. We may want to spend a little time exploring. And there we go, eight hours, off we travel. I was waiting there to uh, have to pause the game just in case we were waylaid by enemies, but it didn't happen. And that's good. We need to go over to here, back to the High Merchant, so we can report on our success. There are people walking around, enjoying the day, enjoying the sunshine. Always good. There are things we could potentially buy, but unfortunately, uh, that situation is not yet here, because we haven't dealt with the Jin problem. We'll do that in a moment. Okay, you're back to where you're meant to be. Let's report on our success to the High Merchant. Hello! We are in your debt for whatever you did. I thank you, and Trade Meet thanks you. Not only have the attacks stopped, but we've received reparations from the remaining druids. I wish it were within my power to offer you a reward more suitable than this, but Trade Meet has another problem we have not been able to solve exactly. We gained a lot of experience, and that's good. You see, Trade Meet was once favored by the goddess of trade, Joaquin. We were a place of fairness, where one would not fear for his life or possessions. Also, 2,000 gold! Not unimpressive. And it was so, I assure you, Joaquin herself has disappeared. We have no patron goddess, and things have, uh, deteriorated. Thieves have come. And worse. A group of Dao genies from Kalan Chan arrived while we were enmeshed in the druid business. They and their gold were welcome enough at first. But in only weeks, they have taken all business and put a stop to it. They are hunting a Rakshasa named Ithafir, and insist that she is present in the town. The genies will allow no trade to occur until Iftafir is found and her head given to them. Why... why they have chosen this particular tactic, I am unsure. Without proper trade, however, the merchants are penniless. Soon the food resources will dry up as well, so something must be done. And done soon. Don't worry, we're one step ahead of you, Logan! We already have the Rakshasa's head. 
I didn't think that you could deal with the druids so easily. Perhaps... Perhaps you might be able to look into this for us as well? I need to gather a large amount of gold to rescue a friend, so I'd be interested to know if you're offering a reward for this one. I have little to offer, but Guildmaster Busier of the Merchant Guild may offer more. She knows what must be done and can offer a reward, I am sure. Alright then, I will help if I can. You are too kind, my lady. Guildmistress Busier in the next room can tell you more about what needs to be done. We gained a level up there! Marvelous. Let us, uh, gain those spells. That is two extra hit points, one extra lore, a third, a third, and a sixth level spell. The sixth level spell is significant, because look at the things that we have here, including heal. A very potent heal spell enables the priest to wipe away disease and injury. It completely cures all disease and blindness. It also dispels a feeble mind spell. And it generally is just fantastic. We want that spell. Yes, Abel. We also want yeah. to, uh... I forgot there you got some more spells. Get a few more things. You have a third level spell. Dispel magic. Good spell to have. And as for a first level spell... Protection from evil might be useful. I am yours to come Now, we're to going me. to uh, talk to the guild mistress here and get some more info. We can use whatever help we can get these days. Ah, it is the hero who has saved us from the druids. I give you my thanks. Our town is in less trouble now than it was, and perhaps proper trade will soon be restored. There is yet one problem that plagues us, however, and Lord Caprith has informed me that you have agreed to help us with it. Nothing would relieve me more. The Dow stay in their tents just outside the town entrance. I ask that you go there and convince them to leave. Either find their Rakshasa or... Or destroy them, I suppose, as dastardly as that might sound. In return, I offer you a reward of gold as well as an item of some power that the guild has in its stores. No doubt the Jin also have plenty of wealth of their own as well. We don't desire trouble with such powerful beings, but we cannot last without supplies any longer. Their demands are unfair. Please, do what you can, I beg of you. We won't be too long in dealing with this quest, as we've done most of the busy work already. We need to go to these tents down here. I believe uh, one of them will have the Jin that we want to talk to. We could also potentially buy things from them, though I believe their prices are a little bit exorbitant. We do have a fair amount of money. We have... Uh, 33,484. That is not an unimpressive amount. We could go back to the Adventure Mart and buy a few nice things, and we may do at some point. Also, somebody noted that we still have a small shield without any magic enchantment uh, being used by Vaconia, and we really should have not sold that shield that Corgan was using. We don't have to worry about that too much, because this problem is going to be sorted very soon. Let's talk to you, shall we? Nothing. Hello. Would you do a little dance for me, mortal? I do so love to watch your forms writhe. It does so remind me of the Jean at home. Let us not do that, and instead go into here. See if we can find who we're looking for. Need to be a bit closer. There we go. We have, uh, Khan Zara, and we also have, uh, Far Farah. Let us talk Whatever to you. you Hello. Hmm. I see you have the head of our quarry with you. The head of the Rakshasa, Itafir. Whether you knew this or not, mortal, this is our entire reason for being in this dreary place. It is nice that the game gives you this piece of dialogue if you've already solved the problem by the time you go and talk to them. A nice touch. How wondrous that you have brought this to us on a silver platter, as it were. I shall relieve you of it now, and replace it with something that shall serve you better, I think. As for you, my little Itafir, you have been a very naughty creature eluding us as you have. What a brave mortal to bring you to us. Come then, my Tao, we return to Kalimshan and fulfil our service. And you, mortal, may tell your patrons that their town is free of our little terror, yes? We shall not return. And with that, they disappear. The party has gained 10,000 experience, as well as this scimitar.
Rashad's Talon plus two. Named for Prince Rashad, former ruler of a minor principality to be east, this blade and many of the prince's possessions were taken by disgruntled palace guards after his death. The role of the guards in the unfortunate affair was never determined, but rumour has it that all died within a year, slain by this very weapon. It's a pretty nice weapon. We're not going to be using it, but it's nice. So we've dealt with this. And now we can go back pretty much immediately and say, hey, totally did it. We had the head all along. I imagine they'll be a little bit annoyed that we didn't tell them to begin with, but they actually won't be because I doubt the game has that programmed in. The downside of this is that we're likely going to gain a point of reputation, and I've no idea what route Terry is taking. The scenic route, it would seem. We should be fine with gaining one more point of reputation and going up to 14. We'll probably be going down to 13 soon enough. You're not going to be killing anyone, Lilacore. Not here. Let's go back in and report on our success. We've done it! Didn't take long. Turns out we already had the head. So have the djinn been dealt with? Have you been successful? I found the Rakshasa that the Dao were looking for, and they have agreed to leave. Ah, so it is done, and you have found the peaceful solution as well. That means we do not have to fear a visit by more of their kind. Your good reputation is well deserved, I think. Good reputation... What was that? Oh, ignore my dwarven friend. He's just mumbling to himself. You have a sincere thanks of Trade Meets Merchants, and, I am sure, all of its citizens. Here is the reward that I promised you. You should go and find Lord Logan, I think, and tell him of your deed. No doubt he will be overjoyed to hear of it. You have earned a hero's welcome here in Trade Meet, my lady. I myself have much to do at the moment. The caravans must be contacted and brought in immediately to give us the supplies we need. Thank you once again. I just can't care Kill it. anymore. Kill it quick before You'll they're all gone. We got a fair amount of things. Look at this gem bag here yeah. that is uh on the floor because we had to pick up our reward. Let's pick up the gem bag and dump some gems in here, including a rogue stone. The rogue stone is pretty important for us. We're going to be uh using that for sure, so this container is full. Mm. Let's have a look at the uh, item we've been given. The Shield of Harmony, plus two. Orden of the Field, Knight Champion for the Wizard Kekim, carried this shield for most of his life. It protects the bearer from most forms of mind control, a benefit for a wizard who needed warrior allies to stay faithfully at his side. Both Kekim and Ordem have long since returned to the Earth, leaving the shield to whomever might recover it from Kekim's tower. Armor class plus three. No protection against missile attacks, immunity to charm, confusion, domination, and hold. This is a really, really good shield. If we were to give this over to uh, Corgan, his armor class would be slightly worse, so we're not going to. But if we were to give this over to Vaconia, our armor class would go to a very impressive minus four. Yeah. We've done pretty good here. Our reputation has not got better. Not yet. Let's go and talk to uh, Logan. It may change after this conversation. Greetings once again. Ah, you have returned. Have you dealt with the genies yet, Terry? Yes, I have. I found this Itafir they were looking for and brought her head to them. They've decided to leave now. Excellent news. What a wonder you are. You have come to our town and delivered us from what I thought to be insurmountable problems. I trust the guildmistress showered you with rewards, and if not, she should. I, for one, think it is high time to give you the hero's welcome you deserve. Citizens of Trademeet, we are gathered here today to honor the heroes of our small town. Led by the Lady Terry Coleman. They have not only stopped the assault of nature upon us by removing the evil druid that had taken over our local grove, but have also spared us from the recent domination of the genies. Our party's reputation has got better. You are once again free to walk the streets of Trademeet, and new caravans have already been hired to bring supplies to our local merchants. And then they all cheered. Yay. It is good to know that even though we do not have our beloved Joaquin looking out for us, 
We still have people like this who we can turn to in a time of need. As long as we give them loads and loads of rewards in the form of money and items. Seems to be what they tend to deal in. From this day forth, I declare that these companions be known as the heroes of trade meat. Their likenesses shall be displayed on the fountain forevermore. Get to work on that immediately. It may in fact be done immediately. Bravo! Bravo! Hooray, we're getting adulation. Here, here. Indeed. You have saved us all. I bet most of the party are not happy to hear this. I imagine they're all grumbling right now. Oh yes, most excellent work, hero. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. You will always be welcome here. You are a true hero who has shown true valiance to my people. I thank you and hope that the gods smile on your journeys. Thank you. Greetings to you. I'm Lady Lilith Lorexel, the head of the noble family that founded this town long, long ago. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure to meet you. Are you going to offer us a quest by any chance? It is pleasing to know that there are heroes of real metal here in Trade Meat, ones with both courage and ability. As it so happens, I have need of such people. What a coincidence! Please, if you are interested in the reward for performing such a task, do come and speak to me at my mansion. I look forward to seeing you there. We'll be there in a moment. We've got to do some buying and selling first. And off she goes! Hmm. I see that that vicious harpy has already pounced upon you. Ignore whatever she says. She is a conniving witch and a liar. Oh? I am Lord Skarmé and Ali Bakar, and it is my family that founded Trade Meat, not hers. So I greet you in the name of the town's premier family. Ah, a squabble amongst nobles. We're going to get entangled in this, I'm sure, but possibly not yet. No doubt Lady Lilith has asked you to perform a service for her. I happen to need the same service done, so I ask that you come to see me in my home so that we may discuss it further. Maybe we can get into the employ of both of them. Maybe. If you are foolish and work for the Laraxols, however, you will not be welcome in my home. Think carefully on this. Maybe not. Anyone else want to approach? Uh, I'm sorry they chose to involve you in their schemes. The Laraxels and the Alibacars are old and powerful families here, and they have been feuding for generations. And we're about to stick our nose into it. Wonderful. Be careful in your dealings with them, that's all I can say. I have here a reward that the town merchants have gathered for you. Don't forget to go and see the statues that have been conjured in your image. They're in the center of town at the fountain. Nice to know they explain that they're there instantly because magic. We have more reward. And we gained 10,750 gold, as well as a lot of experience. Edwina has leveled up, which is important, because now one hit point isn't great, but those spells, that is great. Also. We're going to give you some dart skill, because you have quite a few darts. Now let's look at those spells that you can use, because you have a lot of them, including Power Word Silence. In using this spell, the wizard points at an individual and utters a power word. For the next seven rounds, the creature cannot make any sound. It foils any spells that require verbal components. The only ways to counter this spell are either a dispel magic or a vocalized spell. There is no saving throw. This is a good spell. Also, protection from magic energy. 100% invulnerability to all magic-based attacks such as magic missile or horrid wilting. It's a good spell. The death spell will just kill things. We have contingency. We have death fog. We have disintegrate, which is a wonderful spell. It's pretty good. There's also a good chance it will destroy items, so we might not want Disintegrate. We, we do want Power Word Silence, though. Definitely want that. Maybe we should also have Chain Lightning. This is a really good spell as well. And maybe Conjure Fire Elemental? Seems pretty good. Mislead is also pretty good. 
there are just loads of good spells that we can uh, have here, and I think uh, maybe another Chain Lightning would be a good idea. We also have another 5th level spell that we can prepare. Hmm, which one shall we have? Clo Cone of Cold? Animate Dead, maybe? Animate Dead might be good. Protection from Electricity? Spell Shield! This might be good. The spells that you're protected from are all there, and they're pretty good spells to be protected from. But I think a... Anime Dead might actually be quite good here. Fourth level, we also have another one. What do I want to have as a fourth level spell? Improved Invisibility. Seems good. Third level, nothing. Second level, nothing. First level, nothing. I will tolerate only so that much. That was pretty good. Yes. Very We've well. got loads and loads of gold, and we like getting loads of gold. And when we come back, folks, I think it's time to explore a bit of trade meat. Have a look at the various well, stores. Welcome. Please, my lady, may I, may I speak to you? My name is Jenia, and I come to you on behalf of my son, Tiris. He, he's very frightened, my lady. Too frightened to even leave our home. Please, you... You are such a hero in this town. I beg of you to come and speak to him, to see what has frightened him so, and perhaps help him. Hmm. Do we have time to do this? We probably do. We'll at least go over and see what's up. I will help if I can. Where is he? Oh, thank the gods that you're so merciful. Tiris is at home, the one just north of the Alibakar estate. Please come as soon as you're able to. I so despair seeing him like this. We'll find out in a bit just what's up, and I've no idea why you went into there. Maybe you went to go and talk to the High Merchant. But either way, when we come back, folks, we're going to do a bit of exploration. We're going to do some buying and selling. We're going to see those statues in the center of town, and then we might go to the Umar Hills. We have a lot of money. How much money? We're also pretty close to a level up. We have 51,734 gold. Oh my, we could buy some great things. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.